Hello, welcome back to the workshop. In today's video, we're going to make this simple fireplace surround for an electric fireplace. If that interests you, stay tuned, we'll get started. For this fireplace, what I want to do is I want to make a frame, and that frame will carry the load of the fireplace insert and also support it. And then I want to cover that frame with plywood to give it a finished edge. Effectively, I want to make a standalone fireplace that I can screw to the wall and insert the fireplace. I'm going to use 2x6s for the frame. I'm going to cut those down and frame it sort of in an H pattern. So we'll have a long top and a long bottom, a pair of uprights in the end, and then a pair of central uprights. And that will give me something to actually bolt the insert to. So on the back, I will use some half inch sheathing. And what that'll do is tie the frame together and give me something to bolt to the wall. To keep the cost down for the front of the fireplace, I went with some quarter inch plywood. Since the frame will carry the weight of the insert and the back plywood will hold it to the wall, the front doesn't really do much other than provide a face for the fireplace. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make the frame. These are two by six tens. I calculated I need four of them. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna cut each one of the two by sixes to length to build that frame. So we got the top, the bottom, it's the next nicest edge, and then we've got the two insides. I'm going to remove the outer edge and do the inside frame first, that way I know I've got the dimensions right for the fireplace. So I'm going to go double check because I'm not entirely sure, but I think it needs to be 46 and a half by 16 and a half. So I've got 46 and a half here and I've got 16 and a half here, which should be perfect for that fireplace insert. It said in that manual that it needs a foot between the top of the insert and the mantle. So that's what I've got here. This is 12 inches from here to here. So when the mantle's on, that'll give me the necessary clearance. I think this looks really good. So I'm going to move the outer frame and I'm going to assemble the inner H. The way I'm going to put it together, I'm just going to use deck screws and some poly glue. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the outer frame. I want to make sure this is square first. So I think the way to do this is to put the top and the bottom on and then pound the sides in. What I'm doing there is I'm wetting the surface so that the glue has the moisture it needs to cure. So let's see what the overall dimensions are. So this is the back and it measures 58 and a half by 34 and a half. So I'm going to go mark a piece of plywood to those dimensions and cut it, and then we'll get it put on. For cutting the plywood, I'm going to use my little battery powered circular saw. Right, 34 and a half inches wide. Alright, that's 
the back. Now I'm going to go out and I'm going to do the same thing with the front, except we're going to have to leave a hole for the fireplace cut out. For the mantle, I ended up ripping down a 2x10. It's not the nicest piece of wood I've ever worked with. It's got a twist to it. I'm going to put glue down and I'm going to drive, I don't know, half a dozen screws and see if I can pull that twist out of it. It took a bit of effort to get the fireplace in and put it on the wall. But basically, brought it in on a dolly, pushed it up on a ledger board, and held it to the studs with a screw shoe seat. I chose to stain the mantle while the fireplace was outside. It's a lot easier to do it there, and I don't get stain on the wall. Now that it's in, to help it look built in, I'm going to caulk it in place, prime it, and paint it. Let's do this. fireplace insert I'm using here. It's made by Battlenut. I got it on Amazon. This is the 50 inch model, model 1350TZL. The fireplace insert, it's held in place with just four screws. I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out. All in, this project cost me around $480. I think it's money pretty well spent. Hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.